By day 12 of Operation Mustarak, Marines in Marja had driven insurgents out of vast sections of the city, <laughs> clearing the way for Afghan National Security Forces and Marines to give the city back to the people of Afghanistan. We conducted a flag raising here at Marja that marked the reintroduction of the yeah. government of Afghanistan to the area of Marja. Uh, so today we had representatives from uh, our civilian leadership, military leadership, both Afghan and U.S. Hundreds of locals came to the newly designated Marja Government Center for the ceremony. For many fence sitters, it was also a chance to hear the appointed local community leaders speak about their vision for the future. Uh, their presence shows a, a sincere desire for a better future. You know, I, I, the fact that it, it marks a change for them. I think they, they have some amount of reservation in what that change means, but them all coming together means that they're willing to at least give us an opportunity to show them that there's a better future. You know, we've installed a security bubble here for them that uh, has now only existed for less than a week and yet a, a number of people come out with their kids in tow, uh, old, young, um, all across the board from the Afghan population to say they're willing to take advantage of the opportunity we've given them. I don't know how much more encouraging it could be than that at this juncture. Looking forward to watching that take hold and become something more concrete. Every day I think we'll see more and more uh, action on their behalf. Uh, okay, you will have to show us exactly where. Okay, okay. And Marines, sailors, and Afghan National Security Forces will be alongside the Afghan people every step of the way. Reporting from the Marja Government Center, Helmand Province, I'm Sergeant Jen Calloway, Marine Expeditionary Brigade, Afghanistan.